Hello. Welcome back. It's so good to see you. So today we are going to be looking at some Amazon items. Um, this is just like, it's a mashup haul kind of thing. Um, the first few items are some of the gifts that I'm going to be giving my son for his birthday. Um, and the next ones are just a bunch of random things like summer stuff and just just a, a mashup. But before we get into the haul, I want to show you the shirt that I made him. It it just says, uh, you know, six because he's going to be six. And I don't know if you are aware of this, but six rocks. <laughs> um, I actually got this this shirt at a Walmart, you know, and then I made it with like the the ink and stuff. I did do a video on my channel about how to, you know, do DIY shirts and stuff like that. So I can put a link somewhere here. I don't know um, if you haven't seen it because it's actually quite, quite easy to do. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you that shirt that I made him. I think he's really going to like that. Let me just move this over. Okay, so now let's get into the haul. So, yeah, most of his gifts are massive. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get them in the camera. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, so the first one is the biggest, the biggest gift. So, yeah, but this is just a Fortnite Nerf gun and it's huge uh, um yeah i don't know what bez or are i don't know but what's cool about it is oh gosh it uh it comes with these little guys that you can shoot um and it has like a little scope on the top and i don't know i think he's just gonna lose it when he sees this I don't know, Fortnite Nerf gun thing? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so the next thing is a Minecraft pickaxe. And it's actually kind of like a hard plastic. I thought that these were going to be styrofoam, but they are not. So I'm a little worried <laughs> that my house is going to get destroyed. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. My daughter's going to be jealous. But uh, I'm sure my son will let her play. I don't know. I just thought that was super cool. And he's a huge uh, Minecraft and Fortnite fan. Um, which is also why I got this Minecraft sword. See what I mean? Like these things are just huge. But again, not styrofoam hard plastic, so I'm scared for my future. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I think that he will really, really like those. Um, and then the next thing, this is also huge, like, ugh. Uh, I'm going to try not to get a glare, but I can't guarantee that. Um, but yeah, this is just like some robot dinosaur thing. I don't know. Um, but it can do lots of, lots of different things. Like, um, there's a battle mode where it, um, set up the super cannon and fire. And then it says pet mode, touch the head, and your robot pet will talk. Tail wagging. Dino tail wags while walking forward and backward. And head spin, three 60 degree head spins in either direction. And uh, this is so huge. Uh, it comes with the remote so that you can control it, how it walks, and you know, I don't know. But yeah, I just thought that that was pretty cool. 
He's gonna like it. He really likes dinosaurs. And, oh gosh. He really likes dinosaurs and, you know, all that boy stuff. So <laughs> everything is just massive. Um, so the next thing that I got him, ugh, I'm trying to not get a glare, but I don't know how. Okay, the next thing is just this like bed in a bag thing, but it's all shark related. So cute, right? I don't know, just all different kinds of shark. And look, that shark, he's got like a little floaty on. <laughs> I don't know, it comes with uh, one comforter, one sham, and one sheet set. And it's your zone. Um, I think you can actually get this at Walmart too, but I, I got it on Amazon, so. Anyway, yeah, and then it also comes with red sheets. And that's one of his favorite colors is red. Oh my gosh, <sighs> so heavy. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I got him that. And then I also got him this. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so I don't even know what it looks like. But let's open it up because that's his, he's like such a typical boy. He likes cars, sharks, dinosaurs, video games. Um, but there was a kid at school that had this necklace and it was a shark tooth necklace and he thought that it was the coolest thing and uh, he just kept going on and on about it. And um, so I was like, oh, I can get him one of those for his birthday. Oh, it comes with this, like, little rope kind of necklace thing. And then here, oh my gosh, is the shark tooth. I don't know if that's in focus or not, but gross. <laughs> but he'll think that it's cool, right? So, whatever. It's his birthday, not mine. Anyway, um, but yeah, this is just something called shark, Gym Shark. And it says, um, yeah, just thank you for purchasing. It doesn't really say anything about it. I thought that this would, but it just says thank you for purchasing. So, okay. Um, the next few things uh, are still for his birthday. But I actually got these um, at Dollar Tree. Because, like, I go to Dollar Tree all the time. And every time I go there, I just pick, I just pick a new one of these up. But they are just... Hot Wheels. He's obsessed with cars and stuff like that. And see, like this is new, 2019, but it's a Dollar Tree. I think they get like the closeout ones or ones that don't sell at the big stores. But he could care less what year it came out. It's a new car, so I have no idea what these even are. I don't know. Uh, but I know that he will like them because he's obsessed with cars. I like this one. This looks kind of cool. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like there's a fan in there or something. I don't know. So, yeah. And this one is my favorite. <laughs> it's Patrick. I love Patrick. Patrick Star. And it says, you wombo? I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm sure that I do. I should know what it is, um, but I don't. And all I saw was the Patrick one. He does have a SpongeBob one, I think. Um, so I was like, ooh, SpongeBob and Patrick, you know. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> okay, and um, the next thing is just something. Oh gosh, please don't fall. Uh, it's just something for the kids to do in summer. Uh, it's just a create your own window art and it makes 20 projects and these they're like just those little hard plastic design things I don't know what those are if they're plastic or acrylic or what it is um, but it just has the outline and then it comes with like this paint yeah there's glitter paint and um, just just regular paint and stuff window paint. I don't know. Anyway, but yeah, see, you just color in the designs however you want. And, um, I guess it only comes with two. 
there are two of these and then out like little marker ones I don't know uh, but yeah you can just color it however you want and look at this they have blue on there but they don't have blue in the is there more that comes in here I don't know anyway I just thought that would be something fun and like it's gonna be bright and sunshiny and you know summer so that'd be something cool to hang like on the back window or something it says turn your windows into works of art I think the kids will like that uh, don't fall okay and then the next thing is like I remember these from my childhood I thought these were kind of cool these are those little bitty plastic tube things and you put them on these like shapes and then you press down with like an iron or something and it like melts the the shapes together something like that but you can design it however you want you know like if you want a purple horse make it purple or like if you want your little turtle to have your initial or whatever um yeah i just thought that was really cool um but yeah so it comes with five thousand beads and then five pegboards so i guess you get a dog a cat a horse or a unicorn a turtle and a fish so yeah i thought that was kind of cute i think that'll be something fun for the kids to do this summer um and then i also got this this is kind of weird and random uh but i got this it's just like a staple gun um i don't know i don't know what makes it so special but um yeah and then i also uh, picked these little staple staples up to go in it because I'm going to be reupholstering my kitchen chairs because um, like the little the cushion on the bottom I have they're they're leather chairs it's like wood with leather on it but um, the leather is like starting to crack and like one of them it did crack and like there's this little it's not a hole all the way but you can see the white fiber underneath the leather stuff and so I was like you know what I just need to reupholster it um because you can get that stuff at like uh, Hobby Lobby or even Walmart has that kind of fabric you know um so I was like well I need to get a staple gun and my husband has one but it's like one of those like metal ones and it's like all rusty and just gross uh <laughs> So I was like, I want to have my own, um, so I know that it won't get gross. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to need to go to Hobby Lobby and get the fabric for the, the chairs. So, yeah. Okay, and then I also got this. This is Avery DIY t-shirt transfers. Now, I, I do... Um, hand make the shirts for my kids but my husband he um, he has his own gaming channel and I wanted to make him a shirt with his channel name on it but it's like more detailed and stuff more than I can do because I don't have a cricket or anything like that I just do everything by hand and um, but I was like you know what maybe I could just make him a shirt um, with his logo or design on it and then just iron it on you know, maybe that, maybe that would work. I don't know. I've never done that before, so I don't know how well these things work. But this one is for um, dark fabrics, and he likes to wear lots of black shirts. Um, so I was like, well, that that should that should work. Maybe I don't know. But it uh, it says guaranteed to look good after 20 washes. Fade resistant. Um, I don't know what that little asterisk means. Uh, oh, it says when applied as directed for in per enclosed instructions. So if you do it correctly, which I probably will not, <laughs> but if you do it correctly, it will look good at least for 20 washes. So that's quite a while, right? I don't know. Um, and then the last thing is the thing that I am most excited about. As you know, I have mentioned several times before that my favorite show is The Office. 
Well, they have created a book, and it is called The Office, A Day at Dunder Mifflin Elementary. Oh my gosh. Kelly, Jim, Michael, Dwight, Pam. Like what? Oh my gosh. I don't know. Angela, Angela with her little kitty, and Ryan, and he's got a puppy, and it says wolf. <laughs> oh my god, Daryl with this little keyboard thingy. Ballhead. Oh my god. I got nothing. I got no words for this. Like, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. Like, I just want to get all up in this book. Like, just... You don't even, I don't even know what the book's about. They're Shrewd, Bo Shrewd Bucks, World's Best Boss, The Teapot, The Teapot, Dundee. Look, the little awards from the Olympic thing. You have Beats, you have the Steepler and the Jello. Just like, oh my god. Is that Sprinkles? That's Sprinkles. Oh my god, I just, I love it. Like, I just... I don't even know. I don't I don't know what to say about this book. I'm so excited to read it. Um, it just makes me all giddy. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's basically it for the haul. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry I got stupid excited about that book. I just... It's my favorite show. And this is them in Dunder Mifflin Elementary. What? <laughs> so cute. Anyway, okay, sorry. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.